Hello everybody and welcome back to Steve Jackson Sorcery. It is time to begin part two. The crown of kings has been stolen by the Archmage and taken across the backlands to Mampang. You have been sent to get it back. Should you fail, the whole of Kakabad will surely fall. A journey begins! From the outpost of the settlement in Analand, you crossed the Shamutanti Hills. Along the way, you outsmarted a riddling hermit, narrowly escaped being eaten by cannibals, and fought and killed the dreaded Manticore. You faced starvation and deadly traps. A test of character! To survive, you used your blade often. You acted selfishly. Your spirit guide changed as you changed, becoming the camel. But now, all of that seems a distant memory, for you are approaching Kar. The City Port of Traps! Founded on a ford of the Jabaji River, Kar was once a camp for pirates who ambushed merchants sailing from Lake Lume to the sea. But the camp grew. It became a village, the village became a town, and now Kar is a magnet for ne'er-do-wells and thieves, ruled over by the Council of Villains. It cannot be the voided. Let the city do its worst! It is a place of treachery and traps. You will have to be constantly on your guard as you cross. Your goal is the North Gate, the only entrance to the Backlands, and the next stage of your journey. If your quest is to succeed, you must enter the city port of traps and make it out alive. Inkle presents... Dun 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 Steve Jackson Sorcery! This is part two, cause it's blue now! Amazing. Amazing. Part two! Car! The city port of traps! Oh god! I'm gonna- I'm gonna pour me a fresh cup of tea to begin this- this new stint of the adventure. I acted selfishly? I suppose I did. I don't know. I saved the girl, though. That's a pretty selfless act. I killed a manicure to get that chick back. And it looks like I didn't get any cool magical artifacts. I just assumed any cool magical artifacts would be found in the city, not in the, in the mines or whatever. Evidently, I was wrong. Oh, well. Let's see, see if we can just kind of take a cool look at some shit. So, that's the city. Festival of Thieves, Gardens of the Briar, the Necropolis. Fallen Quarter. Ah oh, man, it's a pretty fucking big city. Look at this dwarf town! That sounds exciting. I want to go to dwarf town. Now we do have a key to the south gate, which I think will actually probably go a long way. So let's uh... Oh, oh, right, right. Duh. Twilight already. The great city of cars loomed large on the horizon all day, but has been slow to reach the path, tracing great loops back and forth through a deep, narrow pass. Walk on! You have not seen a living soul since you left the Sven. You are, so you are naturally cautious when you round the bend in the path and see a beggar, crouched low against a rock, muttering to himself. The beggar. You stop out of sight behind an outcrop, but the beggar does not look uh, mu like much of a threat. Wait and watch, try to slip past, approach him. Uh, that's wait and watch. You watch in silence, the beggar is clearly quite mad. His head twitches from one side to the other every few minutes, he mutters and murmurs to himself. They're hiding in the rocks, sir. They're hiding in the rocks. Try to slip past. There's no way to go around him in the narrow pass, but you're determined to keep your head low and move quickly. He does not notice you until your shadow crosses his face, then he leaps, leaps to his feet, drawing a short stick from inside his cloak. Who goes there? He demands. What's your business in car? Greetings, old man. Enough of your greetings, the beggar spits back. I'll ask you a question. Who are you and where are you headed? I'm a traveler, I'm on a quest, get out of my way. I'm a traveler. The man pokes a stick at you. A traveler? Traveling where? C car. Obviously car, but why? He prods harder. Answer me, or you'll face the consequences. Uh, who are you? You ask. You have more courage than most beggars. Man beams with aging pride. I am the city guard. No one enters car except through me. And then despite his age and clear ill health, he comes at you waving the stick. I won't fight you, you tell him. You are unarmed. He waves the stick close to your face, jabbing a few times, but you push the point aside with one hand. All right, then, he declares this. We'll settle this fairly. He tosses the stick to one side and raises his fists. The knuckles are blackened with scabs. I still won't fight you, you reply. I mean it. The beggar makes a short, braying noise like a laugh and then lamps you on the nose. It's surprisingly painful, and he readies another swing. Ugh. Step away. You step back, and with that, the fight seems to drain from him. He sits down again, suddenly sad. Very well, he moans. You're all, I suppose. Can't defend the city on my own. You're very brave. You tell him kindly. Am I? He asks, looking up. I don't feel brave. 
Still alive. Does not make me a coward. He shivers. You don't have any food, do you? He asks sadly. No, you shake your head. I'm sorry. The man sighs and shakes his head. No matter then. There's plenty of meat on a grass vole if you know how to nibble on them. Farewell, good luck, come with me. Uh, good luck. Good luck. Uh, he nods to you. And to you. He screws up his brow for a moment in concentration. And listen. There are archers on the wall. The watchword is Cantopany. You waste no more time and take your leave. The path winds through the gorse and thick grass. Cars squats in the basin of the hills like a stagnant, stagnant, festering pool. You turn one corner, then another. And the stone walls of the city are looming over you. Talking to people will provide clues to help you on your quest. You can review your clues on the inventory screen. You have found one new clue. The end of the pass. Before the entrance is a wide open area that will take a few minutes to cross. You could scramble up the slope to the right to get a better view of the wall. Yeah, Alright. You scramble up the slope to get a better view of the wall. It is formed of staggering man-sized stone blocks held together with gallons and gallons of mud and loam dredged from the base of the river. It curves away in both directions, unbroken except for the gate. And it looks like the old soldier was right. There was an archer posted on the battlement above the gate watching the clearing. Watch the archer look into the yard. You look beyond the wall into the south gate yard. It seems to be empty. A perfect moment to break in then. Down the pass. Run for it. Let's go down the pass. I don't want to get accidentally shot. There's nothing else for it. You put up a hand and call out. The archer lifts a hand to uh, shield his eyes against the sun. Who goes there? He bellows. Friend or foe? Why would I, uh, why would I say foe? F friend, you cry. Ho! Is that so? The archer shouts back. Then what's the watchword? The guard cocks an arrow and waits to see what you'll do. Wait. Run across the scrub. Cast a spell. Give the watchword. Kentopany. The guard considers this for a moment, then lowers his bow. Approach. Approach the gate. Ugh. The south gate stands before you. It is as tall as two men and would be broad, en broad enough to ride three horses through, if only it were open. But it's standard is locked, and there's no other way onto the city. Luckily, of course, you have the key. Unlock the gate with the Sven's chief key. You quickly remove the Sven's chief key from your pack and slips into the lock. The tumblers click as the key turns. Go inside. You ease the door open and peer cautiously inside. There's no one about. You slip through the gate and slam it shut behind you. The key's still in the lock. Whoever the next ruffian is to Physicar may be, he will be grateful for your little gift. All right. Through the gate we go. You pause just inside the shadow of the gate. There are no guards about, at least none that you can see. You uh, To the left is a low stone building with metal bars for windows. Duck behind the building. Hurry out of the yard. Try the door to the, um, to the low building. Try the door to the low building. You go over to the door. It is locked, but the key is still in the keyhole. At that moment, two soldiers march around the corner. Dive inside the building. With his heartbeats to spare, you leap inside the building. The low building. It's probably a prisoner, prison of some sort. Oh, nice! That was sick! Sorry. Um, it's, it's like actual D&D a little bit. The room, the small room is dark, lit only by a narrow barred window. It takes a moment for your eyes to adjust to the gloom, so you don't notice that the door has swung shut until you hear it locked behind you. The old man, who is watching, sniggers with contemptuous glee. Hello, old man. Greet the old man. You step towards the shadowy bench. Greetings, old man. He ignores you. He is concentrating hard on something on the ground just in front of him. A collection of small stones scattered through a, as though for a fortune telling. After a moment, he gathers up, gathers them up and tosses them again. You notice that his other hand is missing completely. The left uh, sleeve of his tunic hangs limply by his side. Cast a spell, ask about his arm, look at his stones. Uh, you, appear, you step over to peer at his stones, but he snatches them quickly in his palm. If you won't apply, he says defensively, then you'll have to bet. Ugh. I don't want to play. Of course you do, he says. We'll play around without a stake. Then you can share some of your food with me. What do you say? Swindle stones. I have no time for games, you reply, tired of this foolish old beggar. Everyone should have time to, for games, the old man replies. It's the only way to learn, you know. There's plenty you need to learn about car, believe me. What do you mean? Sit. He passed the bench beside him with one hand. Play. We can talk while I beat you. Play. You go over to the bench, intrigued. Join him, I suppose. Why not? The old man drops four dice in your palm and sweeps away a patch of dust on the bench for uh, you to play. I'll go first, he says, waving his hand. Show you how it's done. Roll the dice. 
Okay. Hmm. The game is simple. We roll and bet on what comes up. So, for instance, I might start and bet that between us we have rolled at least two twos. Um, but we don't know what's on the table, so I'm guessing at least, um, three... Two... I want... I want... Um... Where's... Where's three threes? There it is. What happens if you bid too high? I bid three threes. Huff. <laughs> I'm not falling for your innocence. Reveal dice. There are four threes. The round is yours. Fuck you! I know how to play this game. Okay. So what's your name? Let's go two twos. Bid two twos. Do you know Carl well? As well as anyone. Why? Three ones. Hmm. I need directions. Three twos. <laughs> You're not planning to stay here then, are you? Four ones. Shit. If he has four ones, that means I've got nothing. No, I don't like the view. Five ones. So where are you headed? Six ones. Just visiting the city. Uh, the North Gate. Call. Revealed us. Ah, little bastard. Old man wins around. Shit. Ah, now we only have three dice. Hmm. It's better here than where I spent last night. Where was that? Let's see, I've got... Uh, he called one three. I'm gonna say two ones. <laughs> You don't know the half of it. I spent last night in the sewers. Two threes. Three ones. What are you doing in a sewer? Moving around, not getting caught. Till I got caught, that is. Call. Reveal dice. Yeah! Three ones, the ground is yours. So now he only has two dice. Okay. Mmm. So what's your name? I want to do two fours. What do you know about the city in the north gate? Not sure you won't... I'm sure you won't need my advice. Alright. So, what do they get you for? It's a mistake. Heh. <laughs> I'm a murderer. Well, that's not wrong. Um. I'm a murderer. Hmm. And a liar, I'd say. Call. Game is yours. Continue. I win, don't I? The old man nods, gathering up the dice. I went uneasy on you, of course. Rematch? Uh, thanks for the game. You say, standing once more. I enjoyed beating you. The pleasure was mine, the old man says bitterly, putting his dollars back into his pocket. He leans back against the stonework and hums quietly to himself. Wait, try to escape, talk to the old man. Try and escape. You go over to the door, locked, of course, from the outside. Try picking a lock, cast the spell, do something. Let's cast a spell. I've got many a spell that will probably be useful in this particular scenario. I believe it is dupe. Uh, to unlock doors and windows. There we go. Uh, dupe! You end the spell, opening the door, and slowly, quietly let go. The, uh, the locks, arrested tumblers, click over in response. Very good, very good, the old man chuckles. Leave. You step back outside, you step, smile back, and stride outside. While you've been locked up, the sun has sunk well below the wall. You should be able to walk right out here under cover of darkness. The old man is left less confident. He races out of the door like lightning. Well, I was able to play a fun game with an old man. I freed him from prison. The old man is spry despite his age and is quickly far ahead of you. You seem, uh, you seem to be forever rescuing old men, first from the tree outside of Cantopany and now from a prison. A junction. A junction, junction, what's your function? Working all day for a mean little puke. At the end of the yard, the road splits. Looking left, you see the guards line up in row running drills. Best not head that way. To the right, the road leads to the first buildings of car. You can see the old man disappearing off in this direction. 
Let us journey right to the rightness. Could I actually have gone left? Possibly. The night is falling. Luckily, by the roadside is a small inn, which would make a perfect place to stay before you lose yourself in the winding streets of car. Alternatively, you could walk into the fields to the right and sleep under the stars. From somewhere nearby, you hear a low baying howl. We are sleeping in a fucking inn. I've got plenty of coin. I love the zooming in. That's great. Ooh, my spirit guides a dolphin. What does that do for me? Your spirit is the dolphin. Quick and carefully, the dolphin is happy and to leap and skim his way through the world. He is brave, but not rash. Your spirit is far from you now. You must wait until they return for further aid. Good to know. A uh, sign outside the inn proclaims it the crooked finger. Or the crooked finger. I suppose both are acceptable. You go inside and find an empty bar. The bartender is snoozing at the counter. Clearly the trade is bad. Approach the bar. Bartender wakes with a snortle. Snortle? With a snortle. I've never heard that word. I've heard snort. What's a snort? Bartender wakes with a snortle as you approach. Greetings, traveler. Uh, you're looking for a direction to somewhere else, I suppose. Um, I, I need... I wish to take a room. No trouble. Innkeeper says seven gold pieces. Do you play swindle stones? You ask hopefully. The innkeeper narrows his eyes. If you think you can cheat me out of my goal, you got the wrong idea. No cheat. Uh, fair game. He clearly doesn't trust you, but he nods. All right. Sweeps the space across the bar top. He rubs his hands. What's the stake? Um. <sighs> cost of the room. Cost of the room, you suggest. Seven gold pieces. You stack a, uh, you stack a stack of coins on the bar. The innkeeper grins and rubs his hands together. Sounds like my kind of game. The innkeeper counts out five dice and waves at you to bed. Roll the dice. Alrighty. I'll start with... I'm going to say two threes. Uh, hold on. Where is it? Two threes. Yeah. Heard a bang sound in the field when I came here. A bang sound. Could be anything. Three ones. Four ones. Are there wolves in car? I've heard of wolves in car. Didn't used to hear them, uh, but recently there have been some reports. Five ones. Hmm. Call. There are four ones. The round is yours. Fuck you! Ha 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 Hmm. So you're new to our fair city, is you? Is you? All right, well, he's clearly not a bright man. Seems like it. So let's do two threes. What makes you think I'm not a guard? Ha <laughs> ha! The guard are all alert. None have time for recreation. Three ones. Call. There are three ones, the innkeeper wins around. Damn it! Roll the dice. Hmm. Ah, excellent. Let's do four twos. Actually, let's do three twos. I was thinking you could tell me the best way to reach the North Gate. It's a long road to travel. Four twos. Hmm. Saw a junction up the head. Where do the streets go? To the left, uh, uh, to Dwarf Town, the artist's quarter. Lots of shops, lots of thieves. Midway runs through the field. You've gone too high. Five twos, the round is yours. Fuck you, dick. Roll dice again. Yeah, I guess we have to keep going till we play beat the game, so. Murph. I'll start with one two. Oh yeah. I'm gonna start with two threes. I'll raise that. Ha! <laughs> I'll raise that. Three twos. Three threes. Well. Call. Reveal dies. Damn it. Only two threes. Innkeeper wins the round. Tits. This is intense. Crap. This place seems very empty. 
It's a slow night tonight, that's all. Isn't this meant to be a city? Welcome to Lower Car, the poor end of the city port. Not many people around here can afford to drink or gamble. Call. Damn it! Oh wait, no, I won! Yay! Yay! 